You know what I don't get? 3DO made a lot of fun games, and nobody really seems to like them. I don't understand why. The company had to file for the 2003 bankruptcy because nobody liked the game so much. Oh yeah, by the way, hi everyone, I'm your host Sokma, and welcome to a new LP on Lasting Impressions. Today we're going to be playing Sarge's Heroes Army Man for the Nintendo 64. From what I understand, people hate these games, like I said before. Or at least, they're very boring to them. I don't know why. This is not supposed to be a revolutionary game, nor is it supposed to be something incredibly wonderful meant to change the lives forever, but I think that these games are really fun. I played quite a bit of Army Men games, and they're a great distraction from the world. I like these games, so I'm going to be playing Sword of Zero today, just because I can. We're not going to be using the memory card, though. Okay, so let's get these things set up just like I always do, just to be safe. I always turn up the sound and music by two because for some reason it's always a little quiet for me and turn up the TV louder it makes people yell at me, but if I turn these things up, nobody yells at me. I don't know why. I have no idea why. We're going to be playing on normal. What other resolution is there? Oh, we're going to be doing high resolution. Heck yeah. For some reason the letterbox always looks weird to me. I don't know why, so I'm going to do normal, and hopefully that looks good. Control of yeah, it is, just whatever. So yeah, we're going to be playing Sword of Heroes today. It's a very simple game. It's a very fun game. It's kind of like uh, mindless fun. It's not too complex. I think it's just a great way to pass a Saturday, so... Actually, today is a Saturday that I'm first recording this, so yeah, go figure. Let's get this thing started. The world exists quite different from our own, and there a battle rages out of control. A battle between good and evil, green and tan. I actually skipped this when I first played it because I didn't realize you weren't supposed to push the A button when you're done reading. Wakey wakey, you green skin buffoons. <laughs> Time for a high caliber breakfast in bed. I love the smell of burnt plastic in the morning. It's full of a whole bunch of ridiculous cliche lines like this too. There'll be another one by the end about uh, midway through this mission as well. Colonel, what's going on? Sarge, General Prasker and his tan army are attacking. Meet me at the helipad for evac. Yes sir, I'm on my way. I just so happen to be carrying this thing with me even when I'm asleep in bed. And now it has suddenly disappeared. I think that the best thing about this game, about the series of games, is that they take the uh, like the little plastic army men that people would play with a long time ago and they they create all of the... I'll oh, stop that. Where'd he go? Where'd my other guy go? Oh, he went back over there. Anyway, they take a whole bunch of the poses that the little green army men uh, figurines used to have and you can see them in a lot of the figures that they have here. Come on, get him. Okay, I'm going to have to manually aim for this. Hopefully I can get up there. I guess one of the bad things about this game is that the hitbox of some of the stuff is not that great. Like, you can be shooting completely out of the corner from wherever these guys are, and you'll miss. Keep an eye on your radar, too, because enemies will spawn at a moment's notice. I always start this game up by going in this direction. There's actually a lot to this map, but if you want to get through this real fast, you can probably finish this first mission in about three minutes or less. Just head straight to the X. Oh, hi there, dude. Where did the other guy go? Where did the other guy go? Did I kill him? Well, whatever. Yeah, just head straight to the X, and you'll be done with the mission. And that's all you really need to do. Another thing you can do when you're turning around the corner and you can't see where you're aiming yet is to watch the barrel of Sarge's gun. He will automatically aim, auto-aim at whatever enemy is in his path. You can probably turn that off, but I think the game is a lot easier and probably a little, slightly bit more realistic if you play it that way. We picked up, so weapons we have. We have the assault rifle, here's the sniper rifle. It's got a pretty good zoom, I think. Oh, hi guys. I'm just going to take these guys out from right here. One, there's two. Aside from the sniper rifle, hi tank. We have a flamethrower, an excellent weapon against plastic men, and that's all for now. Thought I'd have a bazooka by now, but I guess not. 
And hi guys! Oh wow. If somebody sets you on fire, take him out fast. Then we're okay! Yeah, I died. I died. That I am not, I can't believe that actually happened. One of the problems about this game, other than <laughs> I keep saying that this game is great despite how people are hating on it, but it does have a fair share of problems. One of the most glaring problems is that you have no checkpoints. So if you die at any point during the mission, you are automatically disqualified from finishing up. If somebody sets you on fire, drop to the ground and roll. If you're paying attention to the different poses they have in this game, you can see that they are, in fact, the army men poses. And the little figurines. Which I think makes this game so much more fun. And increases the entertainment factor. What was that? He does that randomly whenever I try to climb up on top of stuff. I have no idea why. So is it this? No. Was it this? Yes! I want the flamethrower. Oh, oh. I am not going to say why. I'm going to say why. Fire! <laughs> I love fire. I have a terrible obsession with it. I see you guys down there. I don't know if I'm actually going to hit any of them, but... There's something going on over there. Oh, that's the flamethrower guy that got me earlier. Time to die, foo. Oh, don't get in the range of the tank, though. Ah, I got him. There's a lot of enemies on my map right now. Okay, the tank saw me! Tank saw me! Tank saw me! Okay, tank blasted me! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to do this a little bit more stealthy. Oh, yay. Come on, boys! Burn, baby, burn! Yeah! So much better. Alright. Now, let's do this the smart way. First thing I want to do is take out the tank, then head to the other place. I actually haven't played the game this way in a long time. Usually I go up on top of the building, grab the flamethrower, then come right over here like I'm doing now. I never go around the other direction, but there is something over there that I don't think many people see. So I want to go over there and try to show it off a little bit. Where is that other weapon? Oh, there it was. The mortar! Hold the button and aim. The mortar has pretty ridiculous range. And bam. Thank you. Where's the other guy at? Somebody rocking around with a flamethrower. There's another dot over there. There he is. Wow, he was on a roll. I don't think I'm going to come back this direction, so I'm going to grab the health just to be safe. Probably should have grabbed the health a long time ago. I never did. Okay, tanks. Tanks can only be hurt by explosive weapons, except for mines, which are a little bit strange. Actually, switch to that weapon. Pull out the bazooka. Blast him once. Blast him twice. Tank is destroyed. Now I need to keep an eye on my map. Radar. My radar map. The map which has the radar in it. All these little things here are destroyable boxes. Doo -doo -doo. I'm actually playing very terrible today. Maybe I should not be starting up a new game today, but too late now. I'm just going to have to go along with it. This is a secret little path that they toss in here, even though you can see it on the map. You can explore the entirety of the green base. Why didn't you die? But there's not a whole lot out there to my memory. I don't remember the last time I explored there. This place over here is a little bit difficult, but it has quite a bit of supplies. So I figure, what the heck, let's go check it out. Wow, on the map. Wow, on the map. Bang, 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 bang. Strafing for me is the key to survival in this game. Because whenever you're in a position like this and you tap the button to fire, he just goes into that whole thing first. But if you're strafing, he already has a gun in front of him. Just pull the fire trigger button thing and he's dead. And I really need to finish the mission this time. If I die one more time, I'm just moving on. See you over there. You ain't gonna make it. <laughs> I see you over there too. Good night, Irene. Hey. There we go. Uh, you fired too early, son. Now he's dead. Okay, so, how are we going to do this? 
You probably saw some of the supply. The music finally stopped. Wow. Oh, still going. So let's see. We got what looks like a grenade launcher, another bazooka, ammo for the rifle. Ah, what the heck? Oh yeah, a grenade launcher. Doom. What the heck? Doom. There we go. Gonna grab this because I probably should and can. This is mine. Anything else I left behind? Yes. Okay. Well, I don't need the health. I'll leave it there in case I need it on my way back. I'm just gonna use the flamethrower. Right now, I'm just having fun on this first level. I should not be trying to have so much fun. It's rather ridiculous of me. I also normally play the game on easy because I like just flying through the game and everybody dies in one hit. This way is a lot more fun. Looks like there's somebody over here. Oh. -ho. Okay, I threw that into the wall. That was close. Come on, Sarge, jump. I'm probably making this game look worse than it actually is. Whee! Man, the greens are getting slaughtered. Is Sarge really the only guy who's capable here? Hi, boys. I'm gonna kill you. Killing extra enemies has no effect on the game. But it's something to do. Alright, now that I've completely wasted about, well, um, over 10 minutes, <laughs> I'm going to move on. We need to get to the X, where Colonel Grimm is waiting for us. Also, if you have a fire, if a, if you have a fire weapon or explosive weapon, you can set trees on fire! It's completely pointless, but like I said earlier, I love fire. So, more fire is always a good thing. Unless I'm on fire, then it really needs to stop. <laughs> right, there he is. He's dead. Okay, that's great. Colonel Grimm! Sarge, the Bravo Company commandos have been captured by Plastro's army. Bravo can hold their own. Colonel Grimm, you're hurt. I'll get you the helipad for evac. It's just a plastic wound. Plaster's army has the helipad surrounded. There's no way out. Yeah, we'll see about that. Alright, so we're at the halfway point, which should be the halfway point, which we could probably get to in a minute or less. But I took up way too much time getting here just running around and having fun, which I promise... which I attempt to promise that I shall never do again. I can't actually promise it because I don't remember if I go off and have my own fun on later levels. That guy is running toward me. He probably has a flamethrower. Now he is dead. Some of the guys, even though they aren't really in this screen, you can pick them out with the game's draw distance by seeing little tan spots on the horizon. That guy over there you could probably have made out a slightly bit earlier. He wasn't completely visible. Good to go but he was vulnerable to our fire. Something really important that you might want to get over here Party somewhere. Time. Another bazooka. Where is it over here? Here we go, a minesweeper. Minesweeper, as it implied, sweeps for mines. And here is a minefield, hold on. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. I got gotcha. you. Right, that's taken care of. Minesweeper. Mine. It says we're about to enter a minefield. Really, you do not need the minesweeper. Stay in the very middle path, and you can get through. I'm just going to deviate up the side here, try to find a mine. There's a mine. I told in the manual that you can actually disable these mines, but oh, there's one on the left. It's got a wide range, a really wide range. I'm told in the manual that you can disable the mines. I have tried so hard, never been able to do it. Die, Tan Army! You can also kill Gr Colonel Grimm if you f shoot at him freaking forever. But I ain't gonna do that. Because I got this far on the level, I don't want to have to start all over. Yes, you do have to start completely all over. I ain't gonna do that. Now after the who knows how many failed attempts, was it like five or something? Four or five? That's crazy. You can also destroy the helicopter if you want. That'll fail the mission. Let's not do that. Let's just get to the helipad. Sergeant Hawk and Colonel Grimm escape moments before the green base is overrun by the Tan Army. 
Bye, guys. See you later. Random explosions, even though only that guy really sees us to shoot at us. Thanks for the rescue, Sarge. Anytime, Colonel Grimm. I wonder if the Bravo Company commandos are okay. They're dead. Let's continue on to the next mission. I actually did want to get through two missions today, even though the episode is going to run slightly long. I'm going to do a freaking lot of editing later. Colonel, there's a blue tank in the town below. A spy, no doubt. Apprehend him and bring him in for interrogation. Tankity, tankity, tankity. Alright, so let's go over to the, um, the colors of Army Man in this game real quick while we're getting this episode started. Green are going to be the good guys, tan are going to be the warlord bad guys. Blue army men are spies for the tan army. We prefer not to kill them, we prefer to capture them. We also have the gray guys, but they lost to the tan a long time ago and are now basically all slaves. Or experimented on, I don't remember. <laughs> While I was playing around in the first level, I am going to try my darn hardest to get through this level as best I can. I was playing through this game just for practice's sake to see if I wanted to do a playthrough of this sometime in the nearest future. Okay, let's not do that. And it can be very easy to die because tanks. No, you don't know you don't know you don't. If a tank stops moving and is not turning around, be aware it is going to shoot you. However, the tanks can only look to their immediate left and immediate right. If you get behind them, you are immune. One thing I would like to do, though, is to come over here and get a bit more ammo. Because there's some good ammo stuff over here. Just going to bounce it off the... Okay. You should not have come this far over. I'm going to leave that health kit there. Because there's going to be some guys who ambush me later. I was playing around the first episode. Just because I got cocky. From here on out, we're going to be serious. Serious face. Oops, I, I forgot about you. Even though I just said that we were going to get ambushed when we came out of here. Great job, Akuma. Great job. We can go straight up the path. But there are two more tanks guarding this town. Well, actually, three tanks plus blue, but the blue doesn't fire on us. I would like to get. That's the one I want to get rid of. But I gotta be careful because to my left is the other tank. Okay, it's turned around and not coming toward us again. Now I've gotta get over here before the tank turns around and sees me. Keep on moving, keep on moving, keep on moving. I can sort of hit the tank if I get lucky enough. That's it. Up over here. The tank has quite a large hitbox. Oh, hi, dude. Okay. Okay, now the tank is shooting at me. Please stop fire. Sarge, lock on. My gosh. Next is this guy who has to die. I think the tank has seen me by now. Okay, stop it. If you want to tell when the lock-on is, I can't remember if I finished telling you before, watch Sarge's gun. Or his shoulder. You can tell when he has locked onto somebody because his arm movement will change. Aha! Now that this guy's not looking at me. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. So I guess I did hit it a few times before. The bazooka can kill the tanks in two hits. Everything else takes longer. So probably like eight in total. I don't know for sure what the damage ratio is, but... Party time. Yes, it is. And here's another bazooka. Party time. So how much do I have for a bazooka now? I think six? Yeah, six. Excellent six. Beautiful six. I got hurt when I fell off the building six. Good to go. I see you there. Yeah. All right, we can go straight up to the base, but I think there's quite a few enemies over there, so I'm going to take the secret path in the back. Hello. Oh, and we're also going to get a new weapon if we go this direction. I just remembered. 
It's not overly practical, but it is fun to use, and that guy has a shotgun. And as much as I love shotguns, they're not very good in this game. Doo -doo. There's the other tank. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 bam! Please tell me I got him. I didn't get him. We can also destroy the blue tank, but as I said before, it won't fire on us because it is empty. So the other tank is nothing to worry about. Machine gun is the new weapon we're going to get in this level. And why is this guy able to shoot me? Or get close enough to shoot me? I took damage from that, I should have figured. Die! Die, die, die. Thank you. I don't know if they'll take three or four hits on hard. I wonder. Personally, personally I would give them four hits. But I didn't make the game, so what do I know? I mean, hard is hard. Party time. And we can skip this level if we go around to the back there by climbing up on the roof. If you want to do that jump up on here, then jump up on the roof here, and you'll get on the roof, you can drop down to the other side, and finish up the game that way. But, I'm not going to cheat this time. For what? Shotgun! Shotgun! You take so much damage from the shotgun, and it's so freaking hard to aim otherwise. Shotgun! 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 There we go. Good to go. Where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? You did! Haha! <laughs> Something else I love to do at this cutscene. Get right up as close as I can to the door, throw a grenade, and run. Boom! Stop! You're coming with me! Insert Star Wars quote here. And we're going into new territory. That's going to be the end of this episode. Those of you who have not played this game or are curious about what we're getting into, I think that this is probably one of the best aspects of this game that we're getting into next. But we are going to save it for next episode. So thanks for joining me for this one, everybody, and for somehow sticking through my terrible game playing in the first level. If you like this episode, let me know by clicking the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe to see future episodes. Come back next time for more of Army Men's Arches Heroes for the Nintendo 64. I did a terrible job today. I will do much better, much more serious, much more focused in the future. Take care.